Hi and welcome to uh, Miss Daisy Patterns, one of our online tutorials. Today we're going to take a look at um, attaching uh, button jointed legs here, it's a little pony, and what I've done here is by attaching the joints like this I have mobility so I can have the little pony sit and give me his little leg or he can put his two paws right up or down but essentially that's what we're going to do today is we're going to attach the little legs now I'll just sit him here for the moment so what I have is I have the body completed stuffed and it's completely stitched here and I have the four legs. What we're going to do is we're just going to attach two of them in this short tutorial. You will also need a small pair of scissors. I have some sewing thread. Now this is organic cotton. Um, you'll need a doll sculpting needle. A doll sculpting needle. This one is, so you know, this one is five inches in length. Five inches in length. You'll need four buttons and the buttons are one, the ones that have just the two holes in it. Um, so we're looking for four buttons, two holes. And what I also like to use is I like to use a little bit of wax um, because what it does is it strengthens up the thread um, when I, after I've doubled it. So essentially what we do is we take out um, roughly about 22 inches of thread. So roughly 22, 23 say. And what I want to do is I want to double that because I, because this is the thread that's going to be going through the legs and the body. So I snip that off here and I thread our needle. Okay. And grabbing the two pieces together at the end. I'll pull them tight. Now at this point what I do is I run it through the wax. Okay, so I just run. What this does is it just gives extra strength to the, the thread. So then I rub it down like that, holding the two together. You see they sit nice and smooth now. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a small knot at the very end. Okay, so I'm running a small knot at the very end of the thread. And the legs that I'm going to attach is I'm going to attach the two legs here and here. So essentially I've got one leg and my second leg is going to attach here. So I'm going to take these two legs and just place them over here. So this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking to attach the two legs here. So. We start by placing one button right in the middle of the first leg you're going to go through. And from the back, what you want to do is somewhere around the center, if you hold it in front of you, somewhere around the center, like that, you pop through and attach the button onto the leg. So, because it's got the thread, it holds it at a knot, it holds it at the back. And you go back through there again, obviously knocking around the leg, and you do it again. Now this, this actually takes just a little bit of patience, so that's held in place. So the next thing we do is we position where the leg wants to go and we roughly mark it with our finger. And we take the needle and we run and position it. So you see the way the needle is actually running straight through it here? The needle is going straight through there. And then roughly the center point of the leg again, we're going to go through. Okay, now we make sure that they're roughly in position. Yeah, no, I'm not happy with that one now. So we're gonna take this one back a little bit, okay? So just take your time with this because um, as I said, it is, it, you do have to position the legs. So there you go. That's the two legs positioned. Now what we do is we place the horse down on the side and we have to attach the next button. Okay. 
So again, put the needle all the way back in through. And what we're aiming for now is for the needle to come out through the other hole on the other side of the bottom. So just move this around as much as you need. You'll see that if you aim the needle, the thread will come out. And if you aim to go through here again, and this will take a little bit of, you know, just a little bit of there, maneuvering around until you actually get the needle through. Now, be careful with the double thread here because you want to pull all the way through. Perfect, see? Now what you do is you give it a good, that's the two legs in position. Okay, so that's the two legs in position. Now what we're going to continue to do is just go back and forward back and forward and again take your time because sometimes it can actually be a bit difficult finding that other buttonhole and we go back again so pulling again tightly then you go back in the other buttonhole and you're aiming to come back out again through this one here okay right and this is making sure you have all the thread checking the legs for mobility all the leg checking them for position perfect okay now with that amount of thread I reckon yeah what we're going to do now is when you're down to this amount of thread instead of going back and forward through what you're going to do is you're just going to go through one of the buttonholes and you're going to come out at the back of the button. With the rest of this thread, you wrap it around this button, okay, securing it in place. When you're down to about there, actually a little bit less, you're going to work your needle back in here and go right the way down through the leg and come out on a seam, okay? Then you just snip off place the needle aside and that is your first two legs in position okay as you can see first two legs in position right now I'm going to continue on and put the other two legs but uh, thank you for joining me today um, hopefully that covered how to put on a button on a button jointed pony um, any questions please do log on to my website at www.missdaisypatterns.com I'm looking forward to hearing from you happy crafting mm -hmm.